I'd like to, to tell you something about where we are already at the moment with this version 1805 and uh, where we like to, to be in <clears throat> by the end of the year, I think, yeah. Well, and uh, what Ansgar showed you or what, what he mentioned is particularly important and I want to focus on two things and uh, not only show you what we did, but maybe explain you why we did it. Uh, so what's the purpose of that all? Um, well, maybe first some slides on the new methods we integrated in uh, Symbio, and we call that a holistic business management approach. Well, that's maybe interesting because you know us as business process people, but uh, I think business processes are still basis of business management. And where we want to go is to become more and more a business management system. Uh, so the short agenda for my part, well, the processes are the key, of course, but why? Uh, so we have a short look at that. And I'd like to explain why Symbio is a holistic business management system because uh, we're not SAP, in fact, of course. Uh, and uh, Well, they say they are a holistic business management system. Why do we do the same? Uh, and I think two interesting new things in Symbio that might prove that it is holistic. Uh, first is the customer-centric process management. Uh, Ansgar mentioned the customer journey. And uh, what we did is we went one step uh, further. Uh, it's not just a customer journey, it's a customer-centric process management. Uh, and the second, uh, hopefully interesting point uh, that we included into Symbio is uh, the project management. Uh, projects are the new way of working, and we will have a short look into that. Um, okay, processes are the key. Okay, so maybe what what happens every day? Yeah, today's challenges here. Uh, the world uh, is more competitive every day. Yeah, that's what what you know, what we know. Everybody uh, feels it every day. Yeah, and the second point is what we have to do is we have to do more with less people, with less resources. Uh, therefore, processes become more important than uh, in the past. Uh, well, next thing, and that's what uh, our experience is, customers are becoming increasingly demanding, but this is also the experience of our customers with their customers. So the market does not tolerate inefficiencies anymore. Uh, I think, uh, this is not new to you, but I just wanted to sum it up uh, as an intro here. Well, but we believe in the potential of business process management to overcome these challenges. So why? Because just business processes are the basis of the entire business. We do and you do. Uh, I think uh, that's a common understanding. Uh, and uh, well, one thing is, <clears throat> what we did in the past, we created a real perfect to be processes, something like that, uh, but reality works like that. So the thing is, where is the link between our to be processes and the as is processes and how uh, is it possible to analyze uh, what difference is and the deviations are. And well, process mining is one of the latest things that we also integrated. And there will be an uh, interesting part of Boris uh, at the end of this session about process mining. Uh, and uh, well, if you've seen that, this is an as is process in real life. And it looks quite different than the two B processes in our business models. So we have to bring these two views together and uh, 
what is uh, as is analysis on basis of data yeah we can identify the deviations and the bottlenecks and whatever but Boris will tell you more about this so this is another argument I think uh, that businesses are the key to our business and not businesses processes are the key to our businesses uh, and uh, well first thing that we integrated but what about a holistic business management system uh, uh, we will go to the system in some minutes again and I will show you all the things that I show you here in the slides in the system because uh, what what happened what did we do up to now yeah we integrated strategy as a part of symbio uh, and of course we have done some targets and we have customer journey related to the strategy uh, then we need to define KPIs. Of course, we have processes and we have projects by now. Uh, the project is at least uh, or more processes than one. One or more processes uh, are project. Uh. Then I mentioned process mining. Uh, we integrated it into Symbio. Uh, of course, the customer journey is a process and maybe also project. We have risks that are related to projects, processes, customer journey, even to the strategy and the targets. Uh, and we integrated products. And these products are, of course, related again to processes, again to projects, again to customer journey. And all the things that we call repository objects, uh, demands and ideas, so it means innovation management, the organization, roles and responsibilities, documents, systems. These are all related to processes, projects, and so on. It means we have almost an artificial neural network, something like that. And that's what we want to become. We want to become the brain of the company. Uh, that's really the target. Uh, and one important thing that we did and that we integrated in Symbio version 1805 is the customer centric process management. So what does it mean? Eh? Well, the interesting point is most customers decide against your offer before you have even come into personal contact with them. Eh? You, you don't even see your potential customer and uh, he's away. Eh? So the question is, where is my first touch point to this customer? And what we did up to now we call that production-centric processes. Uh, we build up processes uh, with a view, let's say with an internal view. Uh, an internal view, uh, that means view of the company. Uh, how do we produce our things? Uh, uh, how do we manage financials? How do we... Uh, uh, act on management level when we talk about strategy. Yeah? But the view is an internal view. Right? It had, has nothing got to do with the customer except at the end uh, when we have a process what's called uh, sales. Yeah? And in this sales process uh, we see the first time our customer. And the thing is we have to change that. We have to change the production-centric view to a customer-centric view and to customer-centric processes. Of course, it's urgent. Huh? It's urgent because uh, the market demands this view. Huh? So we need a change in attitude and the ways of our thinking. Huh? We discussed a topic with uh, lots of customers uh, last month and uh, they were really excited about their customer journeys. Yeah? And I'm not sure, but I think almost everybody is working on customer-centric views at the moment. And in the end, it should be uh, in the process model. Yeah? So at least it may look like that, 
Uh, maybe you, you know the AIDA model. Yeah, it starts with awareness. Uh, then next phase is interest. The third is desire, and the fourth is action. And what we see underneath is the customer journey from the start, uh, the beginning of awareness. Uh, where does my customer become aware of my products, of my offerings, uh, till the end? The end of action. Uh, what's the touch point where the customer buys the product in the end? So the changes, we still think in phases, okay? But uh, the real changes, we think from the point of view of the customer and we think in touch points. So where do we meet the customer? Who meets the customer at that touch point? What's the technical system, the IT system behind that? Uh, and uh, a lot of things uh, start today in uh, the internet. Yeah? We go to Google or social media and uh, we just get some information about a product and then it starts uh, even before the customer knows that we are a vendor for this product. Yeah? Okay. So the touch points are important and the customer journey is important for our business. So what we did, this is a new approach that we like uh, also to discuss with you. Uh, uh, we called that business map 7.0. Uh, 7.0 just sounds good. Everything today is at least 4.0. Uh, so no, it should be just a hint that it's something new. And if you have a look at this process house, you see the customer journey in the center as core processes. We have the end-to-end -end awareness to interest, interest to desire, desire to purchase, purchase to customer retention. And all the rest are support processes or management processes. That means uh, what we still have today as core process, uh, purchase to pay, yeah, something like process like this, uh, is in that view a support process and no longer a core process. Yeah. That's a change of paradigm, I think. And how did we realize it in Symbio? Let me just switch to the system, you see, the first facet, customer. Now we, we even started with customers, uh, not with processes, not with strategy. We started with customers. And the customer journey behind that, just let me navigate to this customer journey. Uh, is, let's say, sell products. Uh, so what we see here, this is a matrix view already, uh, but I just wanted to show you the beginning. What we see here is, well, apparently a normal process. Uh, somebody is looking for a new e-bike, discovers it in social media, and at the end, he buys it in the shop. Uh, so this is quite normal, uh, but we see there are a lot new information related to that. Uh, let me just bring in here. Whoop. Okay. A lot of more uh, new information related to that. Uh, uh, I'm just trying to get to the detail content. Uh, that's what I need to show you. Uh, at each step, of course, we have this uh, description. Uh, we can integrate a storyboard picture. That's what we, we see later on when I show you uh, the matrix view again. Uh, so you have uh, more visibility maybe for that. Uh, we have journey step details uh, and uh, 
even we could capture feelings and the reason for feelings of the customer. Uh, so all that marketing stuff, uh, customer engagement, satisfaction index, uh, all these things can be captured. And one of the most important things is the touch points that are related to this step. So touch point number one, search for offers on the internet. Uh, so the internet is touch point. Uh, and we see maybe up here that he's looking in social media. So we know, okay, the first touch point with our customer is not our own website. The first touch point is the social media platform, uh, maybe Facebook, maybe Instagram, whatever, uh, in the internet. And this could be very valuable information for the marketing colleagues. We can see all this in the metrics view. Uh, up here we have the normal process view. We see the storyboard pictures, uh, we see description and so on, and we have the touch points, the sales channels, uh, customers searching in social media platforms. So we have to do something on Facebook or Instagram or wherever. And the second step or the second uh, touch point is the online shop, not the first one. Uh, but also things like feelings, thinking, something like that. Uh, uh, they can be captured here. So we have a perfect approach to customer journey in the system and everything is connected to everything. Yeah? Of course, we have processes behind that. Yeah? Of course, we have risks behind that. Of course, we have some documents somewhere. Yeah? So we can use all the information that we store in the Symbio anyway to enrich this customer journey. And that means a holistic, management system and maybe with a new view on the on the process map which we called business map in this example and uh, well i'm uh, i'm quite sure that we realize uh, this business map or at least kind of this business map uh, with the customer in the next uh, three or four months and just uh, turn a few or change a few uh, 180 degrees in this company. All right, so business map and customer journey. Uh, the second, uh, I think very important thing we integrated into Symbio is projects. Uh, projects are the new way of working. Uh, well, you know that we have to manage projects, all of us, uh, and this is crucial for long-term success of the company. Uh, and we are in the age of digitization, so it's even more important. Uh, so what is a project? A project consists normally uh, of some processes. Uh, if you are familiar with the Prince two project management method, you know this picture. We have seven main processes in uh, Prince two. We have 47 processes in the PMI project management method, but we have processes. So a project is a process or more than one process and uh, a bunch of processes may describe project. So there is no big difference in there, right? except some details, of course. Let me switch to the system again. You see, we have customer strategy and then projects up here as uh, number three, just before processes. And uh, well, it, it looks quite similar. Well, we have main process main process that describes the project. And underneath this project, 
we have some sub processes. Well, I just followed the PRINCE2 method with directing a project, starting up, initiating, managing, and so on. And when we have a look at the detailed content at the right hand side, it's uh, not so different from the detailed content of a process. Well, of course, we have a description. Right? Um, we have responsible people. Well, we have a status, uh, start of validity and the end. Uh, and what is different? We have some project phase details with the start date for this project phase starting up, uh, an end date. We have the total duration and the effort and the progress. Again, we can add some attachments and the accountable organization that means. Uh, also here, we have linked all the information we already have in Symbio and just add some more specific information that is important for the project, uh, this project phase details in the end. And uh, with that list, you can set up a part, let's say 80% of your project planning. Uh, we cannot execute it at the moment. Uh, we have project activities here. Uh, so we can plan all the project activities, but we can not execute it yet. That's what we are working on, and uh, we will have a, let's say, quite good result uh, by the end of the year, I guess. Uh, so we can plan projects in Symbio and execute projects. Uh, this may be not in Symbio, but we can connect all the information or or deliver all the information to a project management system. So there would be another part yeah, that is completing the view on the entire business of a company. Yeah? Projects, customer journey, strategy. Yeah? I'd like to show you the graphical view in the end. So here we are. Well, it looks a bit like the organizational view at the end, uh, or let's say a work breakdown structure. That's what we see here when we think of a project. This is the work breakdown structure for our project. So we took some steps in this direction and uh, we will follow some more. And I hope you will enjoy the next versions of Symbio just like we do. <laughs> so thank you very much.